uh, it was very surprising actually to see um, to see Saudi Arabia beating Argentina mm-hmm. like that. But um, I'm not surprised. It's the World Cup. You mm-hmm. know, anything can happen once you get into the big stage. Uh, you do whatever you can to represent your country well. And Saudi Arabia did that. They played with heart. Um, I just want to say that Argentina is a predicted uh, champion this World Cup. Yeah. And mm-hmm. Spain mm-hmm. lost in the 2010. Their first game, yeah. They lost in the 2010. Their first game, so who knows? Maybe they're just following up on that same story. Maybe, maybe. But then I, I would call you a liar right now for saying that you're not surprised. You were surprised, okay? Everybody we were all, surprised. we were all surprised. All right, guys, in case uh, you missed it, let's uh, in layman's terms, lang katulad ko, kasi naman Uh-oh. Saudi Arabia is the second lowest ranked team in the tournament, and yeah. they beat Team Argentina. And yeah. you know kung sining nandun? Yeah. Uh, so Messi a, a, guy, a guy named Lionel Messi. <laughs> Parang goat ata yun, oh, oh, I oh, oh. But that time, that time the but goat yesterday. got cooked. Oh yes. my goodness. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, ito na. The best exciting part of tonight. Mm. Um, Harvey versus Pau. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's get on to the top picks. Okay, who are your dark horse teams? Let's go with Harvey's pick first. Team Belgium. Yeah. Uh, so I chose Belgium because um, you know they've been consistently making uh, making it to the knockout stages of the World Cup. Mm. Uh, they're fairly complete and uh, a healthy squad. Mm-hmm. They're balanced all around, and um, they made it to the semis last World Cup. So mm. I think it's a it's a great sign that they they're actually capable of uh, making making it all the way to the um, finals. My problem with that Harvey is that uh, they made it to the semis four years ago. Who's to say yeah. that four years later it's gonna happen again? <laughs> but then uh, Belgium, they're at the tail end of their golden generation. So I don't know whether or not they haven't won it yet. And I think four years ago was the best time for them to win it. I don't know if they can actually go through that hump right now with their advanced age. I hope personally, I'm going with a team who's one of their star players and their core actually is pretty young, which is the Netherlands. So Hop Holland Hop, because uh, they played great in their first game. Well, I wouldn't say great. I've seen the levels that they can reach, but then I would say that they still had an entertaining brand of football. They were young. They were exciting. Uh, there was a good mix of veterans there for old Manchester United fans. Like, oh, Daily Blind's still playing. Good. Yay. But a lot of great future talent as well, and I think that they have that right mix and balance to potentially get out of, not just out of the group, but go on a longer run. All right, I expected this. Pao will be rambling yeah. all night long. Yeah. And let's just get to the second thing on the, this list, the Golden Boot Award. Mm-hmm. Harvey's pick is Romelo Lukaku from Belgium once again. Okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, so I was actually um, deciding between Batshuayi and Lukaku, mm. but um, I got to go with uh, Belgium's uh, top scorer. He okay. scored 6-8 for the national team. and. With World Cup experienced midfielders like Carrasco, Witzel, and De Bruyne, who better to feed than your top scorer, right? So, um, given given any ball, uh, a ball given by De Bruyne, uh, I'm pretty sure Romelu Lukaku will be confident enough to um, convert as many goals as he can. Yeah, you know, I look um, at Romelu Lukaku, um, and uh, no, no, I, I understand his point. I just he's just high on Belgium, and I'm not as high on Belgium, <laughs> so that's why I don't think Romelu Lukaku will win it. I personally have uh, one of uh, Harvey. Look, Harvey actually likes this guy because mm. he's wearing one of his shirts right now and right. Kylian Mbappe. So Kylian Mbappe for the French team, he scored already against Australia yesterday. Mm-hmm. He, you know, a lot of people, even those who don't watch a lot of football will probably know him because he's the cover of FIFA. But he's not the cover of FIFA for nothing. This guy has been on point on a team with Lionel Messi and uh, Neymar on the club level. So bring that international and he is going to be one of the key focal points for one of the favorites of the entire tournament. I don't see, I, I think it's a safe bet that Kylian Mbappe is going to be one of the guys who will lead the charge for France. All right, let's get to the next bet. Um, between bet the, talaga, bet no? talaga, you mentioned Uh-oh. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, did you guys okay. bet last Good. night? No, no, I did not, thank God. Uh, <laughs> All right, best young player to watch. We got Harvey's pick from Spain, Ansu Fati. Mm. Yeah, Ansu Fati at the age of 20 has already become a star and a household name for Barcelona. Um, with, with, the, with the tandem of Busquets, Gavi, and Pedri, um, I know that the Spain squad is also heavily um, filled with, with Barcelona players. I think 17 are Barcelona players. So as a young guy coming into the World Cup, um, you, you'd feel more comfortable to shine knowing that 
the guys around you or guys that you consistently train with um, even outside of the national team. I like Ansu Fati as a pick. I'm still going my Cody Gakpo. I think that he's going to be great for the Netherlands and I think that uh, people should watch out for him. Harvey Gayoso, I can tell you right now, did not know who Cody Gakpo was before this competition. And I have to say that you have to Google this guy. He did. I know him now. And now he regrets oh not guys. picking him. <laughs> All right. All right, okay. Last but not the least, the World Cup winner this time. Mm. Harvey, who's your pick? Okay, um, so the team that I wanted to do well and eventually win the World Cup is, is France. Um, I, I know that uh, there, there's been this World Cup curse that, yeah. that uh, title holders don't usually make it out the group stage. Um, and I, no, everybody, everybody wants to, to, to see that um, curse be broken. I want to see that curse be broken. Um, I, I know that there's still a star-studded squad despite the key losses of Mba uh, Kim Pembe, Kante, and Benzema. Yeah. But the Dembele, Mbappe, and Giroud tandem on top. They're deep. Ooh. Super deadly. They're deep. All right. All right. And uh, just so everyone knows, my pick is Brazil, but I don't have enough time to explain that. <laughs> uh, Brazil well, is good. That's all I'm saying. They're everybody's good. Everybody's looking out for these two teams. Thank you, Harvey. Sorry, konti na lang yung time natin. We'll pick up from this conversation next time. All oh, right? walang extra time dito. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Harvey.